Be mindful. Okay, welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. I am a nursing student in an accelerator program. On this channel, I do vlogs, I do a little DIY, and I also talk about everything that's nursing school related. So, if that interests you, please subscribe to your girl, like the video, comment, all that, da 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 da. So, as you have as you may have seen, today's topic will be about test taking strategies in nursing school. So everybody who's on this journey to nursing school or are, or you're already in nursing school and you just need a little extra little information to help you do good on these tests, ace these tests, or just pass them. Like if you just trying, cause once you get in nursing school, you just, it just get to a point where you just be like, look, I'm trying to just pass it. I just gotta make a C. And if you're an overachiever then, you're an overachiever <laughs> but my first test taking strategy is going to be read the question in its entirety people me included sometimes i have to like t take my time call myself and just okay let me look at every single word on this question i might i might read it twice but i'm like let me read the whole thing because when you do not read that entire question you're going to miss something you you gotta read the whole question because that make a difference in between getting that question right or getting that question wrong. Read that whole question, y'all, because it, that's important. This next one, I actually seen a creator that I really, really like say this on uh, YouTube. Come across a question that you are unsure of. Write everything on the everything pertaining to that question that you know or a topic in that question and write it down so you can see it because if you're a visual learner and if you study and you need to see things then maybe you should write everything you know about it so it's just not in your brain and you're actually able to see it out and it can help you with that question you can also what i've seen this creator do is at the beginning of her exam she said she write everything down that she can possibly think of pertaining to the test on a scrap piece of paper so i guess she can use it as a reference and that's pretty smart if you know that works for you um if you're a test taker that maybe take a lot of time to take a test and like you say if you have an hour on the test and you take the whole hour maybe you shouldn't do that maybe you should just like write it down as you go instead of waiting at the beginning because you could take forever trying to fill up a piece of paper honestly this is something that i'm very 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 big on i go over every single last question when i'm done so on our exams we can actually like mark our mark where we're at so if i come across a question and i don't want to spend too, too much time on a question i'm like look i feel like this might be a question that's going to take me all day let me just mark it and i'm gonna come back to it at the end so i go through all the questions and if i have to mark i'll mark as i go then i go back and i go through all the questions that i marked and then i go back through all of the all of the questions because sometimes you can go back through a question and you're like you look at it differently like oh i missed this oh that's not it this is it like i don't know what i was thinking i was tripping you know so it's always good to go back over all your questions some people don't you know and they still do good but this is what works for me everybody's different we have somebody in my cohort who actually finishes first every single time okay. but i'm on question like out of 50 questions i could be on question seven and i'll be like god dang girl you done already you know i just be like oh that's crazy but i don't know hopefully she's doing well i don't really know I, somebody said she is actually has pretty good grades so you know if it works for you it works for you some people just we all move at our own pace so if i'm on question seven and she getting up i don't i'm like look that's her shout out to you but me and here this one here we gonna go through all them questions again and again i seen this next one next is nurse i can like put her somewhere up here so next is nurse is she's here on youtube and she does a lot of like questions in click style questions and she goes through them and she breaks everything down i really find her very 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 helpful so she said i was looking at one of her uh pete's videos and she said you need to look at every single question like true or false as far as the answer choices so you got the question you go through the answer choices you need to be like mm, this is not true hmm, this isn't true okay this is false this is false this this is true all right this one is false so that's a good way to look at it honestly because you can look at all those things and they may seem right but if you go through it like that that true or false that that can make a difference remember these are just as just for the test taking purposes 
this is like my final tip this video will not be a really long video something super short and sweet and simple for y'all to digest i have been late on my vlog this week but i think by the time that i post this video my blog blog my vlog should be posted y'all school has been whipping your girls booty butt cheeks when i tell y'all i have been trying to manage it all yeah, it's my third semester. I got one more semester and I am done. Summer session is, it ain't no joke. So my last tip would be, be mindful of priority problems. So if you have a question and it says, the nurse walked into the room and her patient was on the ground, what would be the priority at the time? And it'll list you a whole bunch of questions. You need to look at some, I mean, all of them gonna, Honestly, every single choice in that question is gonna be right. You're gonna do all of that sometime when you walk in. But you need to look at the very first thing that you might need to do. So let's say if it was like a uh, survey the scene, um, check polls, um, do CPR. So the first thing you're gonna do when you walk in that room is you're gonna survey the scene. Like, okay, what's going on? Like they teach you in CPR, survey the scene. So you make sure, like just in case something, you need to be mindful of what's going on. Cause like, what if she, what if this person is passed out to something that's like un, um, medical related, like as far as their health. And it could be like, you need to be mindful of everything. If there's any like wires or anything. Cause you don't, you can't be hurt and be helping them at the same time. So, you know, so be mindful of that. Cause that will trick you up. So if it says, what is the priority at this time? What is the first thing you need to do at this time? Be mindful. Okay. So that's all that I had on my list. I'm trying to think real quick of like anything that I could like possibly touch on as far as tests go. But, um, that's just a test. You know, um, I just said, um, a whole lot of times. <laughs> If you are new here, I do have a video that I can put up at the top. I can link it in um, of test taking, not test taking, study tips and tricks to making A's and B's while you're in nursing school. Now, being in nursing school is, you're going to have your good tests and your bad tests and you have your good quizzes and your bad quizzes but when you get a bad test or quiz grade do not just do not get discouraged use that as motivation to do better like my first peds quiz of this semester was last week and i did not do how i wanted to do i'm not gonna lie i seen that grade and i was just like dang i studied so hard for it but i was like you know what i just gotta switch up how i'm studying you know i can't use every single study method for every single class or classes I've had in the past so I had to take a different approach and for me the only thing I wasn't doing that I could have did different was read the textbook I've been I did practice questions I've been studying reading charts uh using my whiteboard and so now I have to do what I hate to do inserts and so that's what I'm doing this go around um for the first piece exam, I'm gonna read the chapters that go along with the material for that exam. But if y'all like what y'all see, please like my video, please comment, any video ideas that y'all would like to see, and subscribe to your girl. We are almost at 200 subscribers, y'all. I cannot believe it. A month ago, I was literally like at 50 subscribers. So to see my subscriber count, I think the last time I checked it was at 152, I'm just like, I can't believe y'all like are subscribing to me y'all like oh. so by the end of this month my goal is to reach 200 subscribers and if y'all have any friends that are going to nursing school or going into an accelerator program because I have stuff on that then tell them to subscribe to your girl or at least show your girl some love but that's all that I have for y'all today and I'm out thank y'all I'm on my pants and my jeans. She's not a dress, she's not a dress. I eat her flesh, I'm on her wrist.